In the heart of Southeast Asia lies a rapidly growing country. Its land, covered mainly by concrete buildings, also is home to a vast array of forest land. In all the acts that take place, conservationists and research teams put their maximum effort to keep the ecology running smoothly. In the case of primate conservation in Singapore, the common long-tailed macaque is a species found in abundance. Primatologist Dr. Andy Ang and her team lead research to help sustain a healthy environment for conservation. I joined the Jane Goodall Institute in Singapore because of their mission and I feel that it's aligned with what I believe in which is to connect people, wildlife and nature. All three components are important in conservation. I first met Dr Jane when she came to Singapore in 2011. Um, that was when I knew that there was this uh, thing that Jane Goodall Institute Singapore and uh, I felt that um, their principles and their goals are very similar to what I wish to do uh, in this conservation field, particularly focusing on primates. So that is where my interest grew to join Jingle Institute Singapore. My passion for primates started when I was 10 years old, slowly, because I had a, a pet monkey when I was growing up. And it was a, a vivid monkey from South Africa that was taken away from his home by sailors and happened to be my family relatives. So they brought it to my house. I took care of it for the next five years and eventually learned that it doesn't belong at home. So we contacted Acres and sent it back to Africa. So I guess that was when I started wanting to learn more about monkeys and then found out that conservation is needed in a lot of this endangered species. Conservation to me means having uh, the species in their natural state and habitat. Forests are being protected and people actually enjoy the natural heritage. Conservation to me means uh, protection, you know, the protection of the natural environment so that they can con continue to thrive for our future generations. Conservation in Singapore is, uh, I would say, a constant work in progress. I think right now with the situation in Singapore with more urbanisation, people will get to see more wildlife sightings, like not just monkeys but also wild boars and snakes. We're at a point where uh, the government and uh, institutions are getting more matured in how they deal with conservation and management in Singapore in a highly urbanised state. So for it to work in the context of Singapore, we need to have strong governance and support. Living in Singapore, conservation is a collaborative work in progress. So you see uh, different NGOs, agencies doing different forms of conservation, whether it's animal related or, or plant related or, or land related. Everyone's contributing um, something to the field of conservation. Doesn't matter whether it's big or small because every single effort counts. People in Singapore could perhaps change their mindset in how we live together with the wild animals. So people don't come here before the animals or the forest. If anything, they are here before us. So I think that we should change our mindset and to think of ways to live in harmony with our wild neighbours and to balance out between development and also preservation of our natural heritage. 
One of my most fondest memories uh, this year was when I was with my colleague Andy. So we've been following the Raffles Banded Langer for quite a while um, and it's very very hard to track them. So um, at, at, a, at a point at this year, we actually followed them and they were very comfortable with us and they decided to just fall asleep on a tree in front of us. And it was very um, amazing that we actually managed to observe a lot of things that people don't actually get to see and the ob these observations are so important towards conservation.